welcome to Great Day at 9A. I'm Scott Haney. <laughs> and I'm Nicole Malepa. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? Good. Yeah. It was the a busy morning. Kinda... The weather's kind of crazy lately. Mm. Yeah, I was just talking to my mom on the phone. It's either too hot or too rainy. Like, today is going to be a little touch of autumn. Temperatures are only going to get into the low 70s today. That's wild. Yeah, the typical daytime high is about uh, 85 wow. for, for August 7th. So, as we take a look at First Alert Live Radar, I promise you, if you watch the morning show, that there will be another little couple of stragglers, a couple of showers making their way through northern Connecticut, and that's exactly what's happening. But the flood watch from earlier, way earlier this morning, has been dropped, which is excellent news. So as we move ahead and take a look at uh, First Alert Futurecast, tomorrow's weather today, we are going to show a gradual clearing trend. And then we turn our attention to First Alert uh, Friday and Saturday, tropical downpours, isolated storms. It's basically for Friday and Saturday morning. There could actually be some Saturday late morning, early afternoon clearing as this storm is going to book on through. We're talking about, of course, Tropical Storm Debbie. Here's Futurecast. Tomorrow's weather today shows us an hour-by-hour -hour depiction of uh, a little bit of clearing during the day today. And then we are going to see a couple of scattered showers during the day tomorrow and you can see Debbie coming up the coast right look where the rain goes on Friday to the west of Connecticut so we're gonna get we're gonna get some showers and we're gonna get a pretty good amount of rain here on Friday but not as much as they're gonna get to the north and west of us so that's some good news as we roll through the next three days Wednesday showers end drier less humid showers late tomorrow muggier and then tropical downpours are possible on Friday but again a lot of the rain that we were anticipating being here in Connecticut is gonna go to the north and west of us so that's a little bit of a reprieve don't get me wrong Friday is a force to be reckoned with mm -hmm. but by Saturday late morning early afternoon we should actually start to see some clearing wow but yeah there was a lot of color there on those lots maps, of colors there know? on that map get a time out and have the wfsb app handy get it yeah all right lawmakers are coming together this morning to try to help you keep your money safe yeah so governor ned lamont will be digging into statewide efforts to combat credit card skimming now we've told you about skimmers found in stores across our state in places like montville naugatuck plainville and prospect thieves put a device on a payment terminal and it literally steals card data and your money it's ridiculous state leaders say that they are stepping up efforts to prevent it and today's event is at the stop and shop in new britain that starts at 1.15 this afternoon. But you know the tap to pay? Yeah, I just used it for the first time. Did you? Well, I've used it in retail stores, but at the gas station, I thought it was just for club members or like members of the of the mobile app or a mobile oh, okay. credit card, but I used it and it worked. Yeah, you could do Apple Pay on your phone. You could do the tap to pay with your card. It's actually the safest way to pay right now, they're saying, because of the skimmers you know they're popping up everywhere and the transaction doesn't actually reveal any card data when you are using that tap to pay i'm coming into the 21st century good job yeah <laughs> <laughs> Well, Connecticut Democrats are saying the new presidential ticket has energized the party and that it's bringing the party together. Governor Lamont, as well as some of the representatives, are excited about Vice President Kamala Harris's pick, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, as her running mate. I don't think that he's too far left. Left. What I do think, though, is that a Trump J.D. Vance ticket is too far right for anybody, even Republicans. Democratic lawmakers were at a rally yesterday in Hartford to show their support. Governor Lamont had the most talked about shirt at the rally. Say it to my face comes from Harris, who has used humor as a way to fight back against Trump, who has attacked her laugh and has called her nuts. And Congressman Joe Courtney, who served with Waltz, endorsed him as well. And Donald Trump's campaign criticized Harris and Walls, saying they're too liberal. Trump's press secretary called Walls a, quote, West Coast wannabe, and that he's trying to copy California. The campaign also just released a new attack video calling Vice President Harris, quote, radical. Both Harris and Walls are on a tour, battle, tour of battleground states that is together right now, and J.D. Vance is holding an event in Michigan this morning. Well, we'll see. We've got, a, like, less than three months. Yeah. It's coming down. Isn't that crazy? Coming down to the...